Hello, oh, Brian again, and I'm here to do a different type of review. I'm going to do my first animated review, and it is on the DC animated movie, Justice League Doom. Now, Justice League Doom is voice acted by the very great cast of Kevin Conroy as Batman, Tim Daly as Superman, Susan Eisenberg as Wonder Woman, and the, the man of cool himself, Nathan Fillion, as Green Lantern. I'm pretty sure he would have made a much better Green Lantern than Ryan Reynolds did, but heck, we can all dream, can't we? Justice League Doom it follows the story in which Batman has come up with contingency plans to neutralize every single member of the Justice League, and when someone breaks into his Batcave and actually steals these plans, they begin to tweak them in so which these implants are then designed to kill each member instead of simply neutralize. Now I'll go off and say that this is a pretty good movie, how an anime movie, but it could have been better. Uh, it's I'm not going to say it's better than its than the uh, first story of this uh, Justice League story, which was uh, Crisis on Two Earths, but I'd say they're about even, and let me explain, start off with talking about its flaws. The only, the, my only problem with this uh, movie, or the biggest problem I had was the League of Doom itself. Uh, I didn't think that it was a strong enough team. The only person on the team, on the League of uh, Doom, the team that I thought was any good was Bane. He was perfect to go head to head against Batman. Everyone else was just the wrong person. I, I would prefer that like for someone like Superman they would have picked Lex Luthor or Darkseid for someone like Wonder Woman get Ares. I mean I know he's a he's a god and all but you know come on this is this is an anime movie. You come up with some bullshit excuse to get Ares in there. And with uh, Green Lantern um, why not get Sinestro? That would have been a really good addition. And better and another error I had with it was the contingency plans didn't seem quite dark enough. It seemed like they were dumbed down. Now, I have not fully read the story in which this is based on, but I know for a fact that a lot of these plans that were done in the original uh, source material were much more deadly and effective than the ones that they used in here. Some of the positives is that uh, it's a good length, uh, running at about an hour and 15 minutes, and the action scenes, and especially the action scenes involving Wonder Woman. It seems that in these Justice League uh, episodes and uh, movies, she always seems to have the best action scenes and even some of the best dialogue, and even in some cases, sometimes better than Batman himself, even though, like every Justice League story, and even in the animated series, although Batman's the only one who doesn't have powers, he's by far the center of a t the center of this story. And it's even true in the comic books, as I've read. I'm going to give uh, Justice League Doom a solid 8.5 out of 10. If you are a fan of um, these type of movies, definitely go check it out. It's not quite as good as, say, Batman Mask of the Phantasm or Batman Under the Red Hood, but it's definitely better than other ones. And it's a great addition. Uh, they leave off a cliffhanger, and that le will definitely lead to a third one. I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it. I hope you are too. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe up top to keep track of me. And I will see you in my next review when I go see Act of Valor.